Cal, tons of people outside today. Is it just because of the weather, I guess? Or maybe it's because of the long weekend as well. And what's going on today? Seems like there was a lot of news again about places wanting, I guess, drones flying around the area, possibly to capture things like video for data and all that. This one says, Rich Swasserstadt wants automatic flying drones over waterways. Rick Swasserstadt wants to place boxes with automatically flying drones at strategic locations along the waterways in the Netherlands. These drones could be activated at the push of a button from the Nijmegen traffic post if something happened on the water. They would also send images of the incident to the air traffic controllers. That's something you've been hearing more of, these drone in a box solutions. This one says the service has been practicing for two years in an area above the wall with drones that know where they need to go. When the air traffic controller presses a button, the box opens and the drone takes off. It's getting better and better and that's why we now want to expand the test area. We learned the most from real experiences with the drones. Do they fly in the right direction, crash into a high building on the way, fall down due to a gust of wind, do they bump into birds? All questions we want answers to. And if things continue to go well, such automatic drones can become a permanent part of our work, the spokesperson said. Funny enough, in reading that on how they have to test to see if it's going to, I guess, hit buildings, birds and so forth, it kind of reminds me of how over the top regulations are not going to stop stuff like this from happening. Ultimately, it's going to happen, unfortunately, one way or another when more people use it. So to say, oh, you need this and that to prevent it from happening 100%, that's not realistic. And even here, they're like, okay, we have to test it. If it happens, it happens. And then they have to kind of document it, correct? That's why ultimately, again, it has to come down more to a common sense approach that actually focuses on safety, not crazy over the top hysteria of these what ifs, for example. And I guess concerns usually with drones like these, people will be wondering, is it going to quote, I guess, monitor them and all that? He says here, but we don't use images to enforce. We only care about technical information about an incident, said the spokesperson. She pointed out that a lot of images are made over land by fixed cameras which are important in the event of an accident. However, this does not yet exist above water. And then I read this where apparently there was an announcement of a new drone of sort in terms of a prototype anyways. This one says Bombardier unveils EcoJet research project with drone prototype. Bombardier chose to focus on the sustainability initiatives it is undertaking at its press conference here at EBACE on May 22nd which include the EcoJet research project to explore and refine new technologies to reduce carbon emissions. The company unveiled a small-scale model of a testbed drone it has been using for flight and wind tunnel testing at a secret location in Quebec. Anyone in the province see this mysterious flying drone around the area? It says Bombardier emphasized that it was not a new aircraft, but rather a prototype to help understand and refine technologies for future projects. We actually believe that blended wing bodies are a part of the future. Stephen McCullough, Bombardier Vice President of Engineering and Chief Aircraft Design Development, told Assembled Media, adding that the technology readiness is progressing sufficiently and initial testing is proving its benefits. I'm actually curious how you could actually fly this in a quote, secret location, considering how big and stuff it is. Imagine somebody just accidentally capturing this and assuming it's a quote, UFO. And the last thing I read was kind of interesting. It dealt with a museum here, which apparently they're going to renovate or demolish. At first, I was wondering, well, why? Isn't there a more important thing to deal with? And apparently, according to this, it says here, BC to demolish racist museum and build unprecedentedly expensive replacement by agreeing to a starting cost of $789 million the BC government is setting the ball rolling on one of the world's most expensive museum projects. Holy cow, that's a lot of money just to replace a museum. Is that really worth the expense overall in terms of, I guess, a history or art exhibit per se during these times as well? And they have some points here. It says the Royal BC Museum is one of the province's most visited attractions and one of the top ranked museums in the country. But the building, has been under partial closure since January when management abruptly decided to dismantle its popular human history galleries in the name of decolonizing an attraction they said was shot through with systemic racism. It makes me think of that point again where if it's something that's a part of history or literature for example, regardless of how bad it is, isn't it good to have it there so people can learn from it? I mean, to me, it doesn't make sense to get rid of it all. It almost feels like it's being used as a buzzword to justify 
that ridiculous expense by the sounds of it? Even in other articles it says BC government put on defensive after tone deaf $789 million museum upgrade announcement. So they're actually trying to like defend this I guess you could say. Because according to this too, with this renovation or whatever, the museum would be closed until 2030? Imagine all the other things you could invest in too. I mean the bottom line again is, in my opinion, if it's a part of history, then you should be able to read it like an adult and basically use that information so that you don't repeat history per se. At the same time, when it comes to topics like they just say, I don't know, racism and so forth, if you keep using it as a buzzword, it kind of loses all meaning afterwards. Like just say, oh, this is quote racist in order to shut something down. Because for myself anyways, I mean, I experience things like racism, but at the same time, I always look for things like consistency. Because ultimately, things like racism means, for example, I don't know, being prejudiced against someone, stereotyping them, putting everyone in the same bucket. I mean, it doesn't have to be about things like skin color. I look at other categories too. If I see the same thing happening, whether it's, for example, discriminating against people for like, say, a hobby, demonizing them, to me, it's the same thing. So you have to solve that root issue, in my opinion, when it comes to the, I guess, problem overall. And again, with the price you're paying here, I don't know if that's the right way to do it. See you guys later.
Thank you.